Light is probably the most important element of photography and video. Without it, all you have is a ton of great technology, useless, but great. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down in the comments. Speaking of great tech and light, today I'm talking about the June 5 Ray F100 light stick. Disclaimer, this light was sent to me. This is not a sponsored video and no one has any input in what I say. With that out of the way, let's get into it. The June 5 Ray F100 light stick is pretty powerful for its size. It isn't pocketable, but it is powerful. It's a great option if you're looking for a versatile and portable light you can slide into a side pocket of your camera bag to take out with you on shoots. I know this would be a great light to have as a kicker light for when I'm out shooting real estate this season. I photographed some homes that have no ceiling lights, no lamps, with no natural light, and had to use a flash, which is fine. It is what is a flash is meant for, but I would like to give the June 5 Ray a try as a substitute when I think it would be be good to test out. I'll show you how it goes if I get a chance to use it anytime soon. Now let's talk about the specs. The 5 Ray F100 is a 100 watt light stick. It has six 2600 milliamp hour internal batteries that allow for up to 64 minutes of continuous use. But when the light is plugged in, you have unlimited usage. It has two ports on the side of the light stick. The right side if the light is facing you, but the left side if it is facing forward. The two ports are under the rubber flap and this is where you will find the charging ports for the 5 Ray F100. It takes USB-C and DC and either option can be plugged into the wall or a battery pack that will charge the batteries and allow you to use Use the light simultaneously. Yes, you can charge the light stick while it is in use. So this light would be a great light if you were looking for a decently sized key light for vlogging, a hair light for interviews, or a little splash of color for your background. The 5 Ray F100 is an RGB light and it has six special lighting effects. It has SOS, TV, faulty light bulb, candle, flash, and fire, and probably some other lighting effects that I'm not mentioning. And in terms of performance, the 5 Ray F100 delivers great results. The light output is bright and consistent, and the color temperature range allows you to adjust the colors of your shot to match the ambiance or motivated light. The color temperature ranges from 2700 Kelvin to 6200 Kelvin. The biggest perk to me is that it goes down to 2700 Kelvin. Some of the lights I use for this setup, especially the lamp up there back on the bigger shelf, it goes down to 2700 Kelvin. I mean, it's, it's a 2700 Kelvin light bulb and I try and match the lighting in this office to that light bulb just so it looks consistent. So having a light stick that can go down to 2700 Kelvin is definitely a perk to me. You can adjust the brightness of the light with a dial on the back. The Fiber F100 has a high color rendering index of 96, which means it can reproduce the colors of objects in a more accurate and natural way. In terms of build quality, the light wand is well built. In my opinion, it is pretty heavy for a light stick. I would recommend you rig it up somehow or use it on a light stand. I believe most of the weight comes from the fact that it has six internal fans, which allows for cooling during longer shoots. And the barn doors that are attached is a main feature and you have to leave them on to get most out of the light. I will talk more about that in just a second. It does have extra space for holding, which is the handle. It isn't like some of the other tube lights out there where the entire light stick is the light. And when you hold it, it cuts off some of the light real estate. It is made of highly durable plastic. And over time, you're gonna feel the edges because they are pretty defined and they can dig into your hands. It just can get uncomfortable with extended holding. The 5 Ray F100 does have a quarter 20 mount at the bottom of the grip, which is the only contact point for rigging and putting on light stands, but it makes it an excellent option for those who are looking for a portable LED light that can be used on the go and maybe even put into tight places. There are some accessories that come with the 5 Ray F100. You have the barn doors, the egg crate, and the sheet of diffusion. In order to use both the diffusion and the egg crate, you have to leave the barn doors on the F100. But the barn doors are removable, which makes this light less heavy. But when you throw on the egg crate, it does get heavier. Without the egg crate, the weight feels evenly distributed throughout the light, even with the barn doors on. But once you put the egg crate on, it feels as though it is pulling forward and the weight becomes less evenly distributed. I think the sheet of diffusion is great. Probably the best accessory that comes with the light stick second to the carrying case the diffusion sheet adds weight as well but it is hardly noticeable i don't really mind light spillage for what i shoot i will probably mostly only use the sheet of diffusion but i know the egg crate will come in handy for some specific types of shots but there is one major drawback you cannot control the 5 ray f100 with an app on your phone there is no remote control for remote shooting at a distance and as a solo shooter running back and forth from lights takes times and sometimes I don't have the time 
to spare. Even when I'm shooting here in this office, I have a short, small, small window of time to be able to do these videos. And I haven't used it for this set just yet because I am unable to control the light and all the lights in this space are controlled in some way, except for that light back there. I don't control that light at all. It's just one setting. It is a RGB light, but I just leave it as it is in the same setting that it is in, unless I'm trying to change the background, then I would go back and change it. But other than that, it just stays like like that so the 5-ray f100 is a great light stick but if you need wireless control then this just might not be the one for you it is a great option for photographers and videographers looking for a portable and versatile lighting solution it is easy to use and delivers great results if you're on the market for a portable led light the 5-ray f100 definitely is worth considering also consider liking and subscribing if you got any value out of this video i greatly appreciate it there would be more lighting videos you can watch in this playlist right here or check out this video right here that youtube thinks you would like to watch thanks for liking and subscribing while staying awesome stay awesome